I'm running around Croatia trying to count all of the birds and it's an extremely hard task to do. We have in the world something between 50 and 400 billions of birds. The number is very imprecise and that's why. Because it's quite challenging to count them all. My task in the next two days visit five locations and to count all of the birds I can see. Let's do it! I'm taking part in International Water Bird Census. There are 50,000 locations all over the world. And since I'm in Croatia, I choose five sites there. The count happening in these two days exactly in the middle of January. And that's because the birds which are migrating for winter already arrived, but they haven't yet left their wintering grounds. And that's perfect timing for counting them. I'm in Rabat's Bay, that's my first location. It's a quite large bay, so I'm starting here from most northern point. I'm just gonna walk all the way through to see how many birds here. There are like hundreds of them here. So many different types of gulls. There's like herring gull, common gull, yellow-legged gull, black and gull, less black and gull, and so on. All of them have different features. And also, different age has different plumage, so it's a bit tricky. If you wonder how to count all of this mess, there's a special counting technique. You take a picture and divide them into the groups. You can also go through training and filling tests. You can check the sounds and special features for each bird, but you have to be careful. I messed up with this black-headed gull because, well, I thought he's supposed to have a black head, but in fact in winter he don't. And it's better if you have a company who can join you, because the data will be more precise. Each person can count a little bit differently, and then you estimate the average and you get better results. But you can also do it alone. The gear you need, binoculars, notepad, bird guide. You also need the map. I use Maps.me, because it's free, open source and community based. Look, that's all the bay on both sides. But not a single one, at least from this position. So I have to go further and check. There must be some birds. I just arrived at the end of the bay here and it's super quiet, it's super calm. No people, no birds. The bay is very narrow, almost like a fjord. It's quite beautiful, but no birds. It shows that for some reasons birds don't choose to come here. And it's strange because I've just been at Rabat's Bay and it's full. There are like a few hundred of birds there and here it's just four. I just arrived at my last spot for today and it's next to the power plant. Let's see if here are any birds. really not much here. I'll try to get on top there. Maybe I'll be able to see more, but right now it's just one gull. I stayed there for another two hours and just before the leaving I finally spotted something. I'm lucky because behind me there's a fisherman and around him a lot of gulls. I counted 29, but that's why it's important to stay a bit longer. Birds will arrive later for their way for hunting. At the end it's not that bad here. Look at this amazing view. Plumbing Bay, and on the other side there's this uh, power plant. Quite stunning. And that's it for today. It's time for the rest. I'm finished. All the locations I took are the bays, which means that they're the same species of birds. But as you can see, there are different situations. Water birds are well-known indicators for wetland quality. This means if you cannot find the birds here, that's something wrong. Either here is not much fish or pollution. Possibly here you cannot see much birds because of the power station, which put the cooling water inside the stream. Maybe that's the reason, maybe something else. It's second day and today I'm next to the concrete factory. Let's see. That's the place and again not much happening. It's quite noisy. I can see some birds, which is good, but 
I don't expect much. This time we count on the water birds, it's the one who depend on wetlands and we do it in the ponds, in lakes, rivers, bays, seasides, everywhere. Different habitats have different species. For me it's mainly gulls and sharks. Sharks quite cool actually. This place is very quiet and also quite polluted. Uh, just a few birds here. Of course, we cannot count all the single birds in the world, but what we can is to see changes in population. And that's why it's very important to inspect the same size every year to see how the number of birds are fluctuates. And that gives us very important information, not only about the birds, but also about the wetlands. I finished with all of my locations, and now it's time to transform my scribble into valuable data. Okay, that's the instructions of how to fill the form, and that's the data I collected. Then I send it to regional coordinator, who have to check everything and verify, then it goes to national level and then to the Wetlands International organization, which conduct the census. After they got data from all of the countries, they will publish their estimates. In average, around 1.5 billion of birds are counted during these two days, and that's only water birds. Different bird counts happens all the time, all over the world. And the more people join, the more data we'll have to finally estimate how many birds do we have. Uh, if you're interested, there will be some links under this video. Thank you for watching and be brave to act.